what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A convicted pedophile who was sentenced to 300 years in prison for sexually assaulting six children has been freed from Arkansas Valley Correctional Facility in Colorado. 46-year-old Michael McFadden was released on Tuesday after the Colorado Court of Appeals decided his right to a speedy trial had been violated. McFadden's trial, which was scheduled for 2015, was delayed past the statutory requirements and courts ruled that he could not be retried. McFadden was released from custody and will not have to register as a sex offender because his convictions were vacated. After his conviction and sentencing in 2015, McFadden's lawyers sought to add provisions in the jury questionnaire, which delayed the trial. An appeals court held in June 2017 that the delay could not be attributed to McFadden and his case would not be brought to trial again. But wait, there's more. In February, the Supreme Court decided not to hear the appeal, which effectively allowed the lower court's ruling. Oh, we got some type of judicial system working, huh? Got some real good people down there looking out for us, making sure we're all safe. Donald Trump, thank you, man. You're the law and order president, man. We've never felt more safer in the United States of America. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, they say that this dude, one of his ways that he were able to get a hold of kids and molest them is that he would befriend people who have young children and he'd figure out a way to get them along so that he could have access to them to molest them. One of his things that he would do is take them out to ride his motorcycle or riding dirt bikes and then he would molest them. Now, you know, they say that they popped them with six children, but you know it was more. If they identify six, that has to, it's probably, the number is probably closer to 60 or 600. Because these type of dudes, the serial rapists, I mean, they got, they pile the numbers up. We're not even talking about the people that were too afraid, who actually knew, but were too afraid to come forward because they didn't want to have that type of publicity. Wow, man. Thank you, America. Thank you for the good lawyers that are in America that's keeping America safe. Now, his lawyer delayed the proceedings per purposely, and they decided that that wouldn't be held against him, even though it was his lawyer's fault that he didn't get a speedy trial. Amazing. Like, since when in America do they play fair in the courtroom? Since when does they go strictly by the book? I mean, this is a country where they bend the rules and break the rules according, accordingly to how they feel, whatever the agenda is. You know how many people they've railroaded and people that are doing 30 years, 40 years for crimes that they actually did not commit. And here's a guy that raped six kids and y'all let him back into the streets. You need to stop worrying about ISIS and Al Qaeda and start worrying about and stop worrying about Mexico and who coming over here. You need to worry about the homegrown terrorists that are right here, the pedophiles, the mass shooters the hate groups. You need to worry about the, the, the school shooters. I'm talking about the homegrown terrorists that are right here. The police departments across America. The homegrown terrorists. That's who you need to be focused on. The chances of an American being killed by an American is astronomical compared to an American actually dying or their chances of dying at the hands of a member of ISIS or some type of foreign entity. 
you know, some type of foreign enemy. That that ain't likely to happen. I mean, how many people do you know personally who have died at the hands of someone who is a member of a foreign enemy? Come on, man. It's all fake. They don't care about us. It's fake. Who would allow something like that to happen? America is so dirty when it comes to laws, the judicial system, that they will, they'll make up the laws as they go. They'll change the laws. In fact, sometimes they'll just keep you in jail uh, for perpetuity. Like, they don't care. You know, like, you know what? It don't matter, you know? Yeah, we know we're supposed to let them go, but it don't matter. We're gonna keep them here till we figure out what we're gonna do. They can do it if they want to. They can let you out if they want to. They can keep you in if they want to. They can do whatever the hell they want to do. I mean, the police is investigating the police. Who are you going to go to if the people in the judicial system say, I mean, the people who run it, I mean, the, the top guns say, keep them in there. I don't care. Keep them in there. Your parents, your family can go to however many people they want to go to. And ain't nothing going to change unless they ready to overthrow you. Unless they finna go in there and bust them out of jail. Ain't nothing going to change. I, I think that the parents should do something. I, I, I don't think I would have any problem or society at large would have any problem with one of the parents going out there and executing dude on the scene, wherever he is, finding him and executing him. I don't think, I think the chances of that person going to jail would be very, very slim. It would be slim to none. I think that, that person would be an instant hero. Because I feel, I don't think there's a jury in America who would convict him. His lawyer slowed the process down and the system gets penalized. Where they do that at? Man, it's time for some street justice. Americans, you're on your own, man. We own our own out here, I'm telling you. You're on your own. If the system won't protect you, you have to protect yourself or you're sitting ducks. You're just, you're just sitting ducks. You gotta protect yourself. Don't count on the police. You can't count on the judicial system doing the right thing. Many of the judges in the judicial system are corrupt. Many of the judges are pedophiles themselves. That's why they're so lenient with pedophiles. Many of them are pedophiles themselves. Many judges are members of hate groups. That's why they're so lenient when it comes to punishing hate groups. Many of the politicians are members of hate groups. That's why they won't go hard on hate groups. That's why they allow all of these militias to run around and talk about overthrowing the government and doing this and all this kind of stuff. Because they too are members. Law, lawmen, so many police officers are members of these hate groups. You can go on their Facebook pages and see all kind of stuff. This is why you can't clean up the corruption in America because the people who are at the top, the people who run it are corrupt. And if you go too hard to try to expose them, then they'll just take you out. They will kill the goodness, the good, and allow the bad to flourish because they're bad and because they're corrupt. And they think that it's quicker to and easier to steal from the American people and mess over the American people than to work for what they want like everybody else and grind for the American people. They, they think that's too much, man. I, it's, it's easier for me to just not care and give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, get all that I can get for myself and mine and then everybody else on their own. It's all a big old game. 
I'm, I mean, on every major institution, I'm talking about from the hospitals, all of the male practice that goes on in hospitals, a good nurse try to come forward, a good doctor try to come forward and expose them, that their career is over. How many times good teachers, you've talked, spoken with good teachers who said, man, I wanted to do something for the kids. They wanted to, uh, they wanted to uh, create a new curriculum for the kids or whatever, do something good for the kids. And, and the principal or the, AD, the AP told them, no, we're not doing that. Or the superintendent told them, we're not doing that. Education, the clergy, financial system, judicial system, every agriculture, every major system that you can think of is corrupt from the top on down. And that's why nothing's going to change. There are people out there who don't understand the gravity of letting this animal out of his cage and releasing him back into civilization. Welcome to America, a place that accommodates criminals at the expense of the people it's supposed to protect. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.